it's me. So, Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts, Stamping Up Demonstrator based in the UK in South Oxfordshire. And it's Thursday afternoon and it's just gone three o'clock. I have put a poll up in the chat. Um, it's got nothing to do with today's uh, live, but hey, I just thought I'd ask. Um, I am still doing a little bit of prep. I'm sorry. Uh, I just wanted to finish up a couple of things that I am in the middle of. Um, let me just, that's what I'm, basically I'm trying to sort out colours. Uh, so, yes, uh, let me just check that I have gone live. Ooh, I don't know that I have. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, I have. I'm live. Woo! That's good. Like it when I've gone live. And I am actually live. So, um, happy Thursday. It's a it was meant to be a nicer day than this is today. It's warm-ish, ish, but it's a bit dull. Um, but I'm embracing autumn. I am going to be using the Beauty of the Earth designer series papers. I have sorted out what I'm using. I'm just finalizing the colors that I'm going to use. And I think I'm kind of there. I think I might have to grab another colour along the way, but I think I'm pretty much there. Miracle of miracles. So, fingers crossed there will be someone joining us very soon. Otherwise, I kind of think I'm Billy No Mates. Uh, I've got that ready. I've got that ready. I've actually got things sort of ready. It's a bit worrying. I mean, like, seriously, a bit worrying. It's going to go to, you know, complete pot along the way but it's sort of there hello claire hello nora phew people are here right i'm just sorting out the last little bits and then i'm ready to go i've been packing up i need those i've been packing up um thank you kits hello lorna uh and i'm about to do the kits for the uh, nature's harvest class so fingers crossed I will get those all out this week um, not everyone that gets a thank you gift for ordering during the month has ordered the class and vice versa obviously vice versa so yes so I have one of my tables out today uh, because that's easier for me to sort it takes a fraction of the time if I've got a table it's just a miracle um, so, hello, Katharina. Hello, Janice. Yes, I am. Well, I think I'm live, maybe. Um, I might be a bit more live if I um, have a drink. Bear with me. This is a T2, one of the um, T, T2 is a company, capital T number two. Um, and it's their birthday cake blend. And it's really nice. It's not actually got any tea in it. It's a tisa. Hello, Sherry from Oregon. So actually, that's really nice. It tastes. It does taste like birthday cake, but it hasn't got the calories. It's great. Um, so I am doing a poll. Halloween, yes or no? Uh, so far, we're 50-50. So um, if we get more of our American friends on, I think that might go up a bit on the yes side. Anyway, so I'm using nature's beauty and nuts about squirrels um i haven't used this for a while so i thought i would and it goes so nicely with nature's beauty no beauty of nature what's it called i've forgotten beauty of beauty of the earth that's what it's called beauty of the earth right so i'm going to flip you down and then we can get started do remember along the way to if you're enjoying it give it a thumbs up and uh, if you don't already subscribe bottom right hand corner there is a subscribe button hit the alert bell and you will get an email every time i go live which isn't that often twice a week um but it just gives you that alert so that you know what's going on right so this is lots of bits um 
so I'm using some of the rose gold and gold um, paper from the annual. I'm using quite a bit from the annual, actually. Um, that's a, another piece for it. Um, so let me work backwards from the base up. So we have a piece of misty moonlight uh, because it's a two-step stamp set. There's lots of stuff. Um, oh, which reminds me, that's the other thing, I, other colour I want out. Um, so I've got a Misty Moonlight card base. Misty Moonlight is one of the colours in the paper and I have selected a paper that has Misty Moonlight in it as one of my features. Um, I'm layering that onto a piece of um, early espresso. I've got an early espresso lining and a white lining and I've got this tiny offcut of paper that I thought I would just run across the bottom. Haven't decided which way up yet. Um, probably, probably that way up because I've got another piece of, of the paper there. So this is the reverse of one of the other patterns. So it's the reverse of this, which I will be using in a moment. Um, this is the one that's got the, the sky effect on the back. Um, but I really love the fact that it's got some blue. I will be trimming that down. Um, so I just want to check something for... Oh, I'm, I'm waiting for a message to come in. Not that it's going to take priority, but I am waiting for a message to come in. And it'd be quite useful to know when it's come, but it hasn't yet, so that's all right. Right, so I have already die cut, as you may have seen, a piece of the rose gold paper. I'm going to be die cutting um, a piece of white once I've stamped. Uh, this is going to go kind of along the middle. Uh, I'm going to have these going down and that's about it. So let's get started. I know what I'm doing. It's a bit of a worry. Um, so I'm going to do my stamping first because then that's done and can kind of dry a wee bit. Um, I'm going to move my mouse so that it's under my face, if you see what I mean, because um, then I won't put anything there. Uh, otherwise, I might put something really important that you need to see exactly where you can't. So I've already mounted up the stamps that I need for this image, which is the squirrel, the infill and the nuts or the nut. Um, it's an acorn, actually. And I've also I'm using hay there. I'm going to ink up in early espresso because I'm going to do a red squirrel. So I'm using cinnamon cider and I think that just looks nicer with cinnamon cider. As in early espresso, I think looks nicer with cinnamon cider rather than black. I just want to make sure that I am. Yep. If I go there, I will have sufficient space. So I do need to do some other stamping and other die cutting. So I may do that at the same time. So we only have to get the cut and emboss out once. Um, make sure that's, yep, that's going to work beautifully. So I will do all the stamping for both cards and then I will use the cut and emboss um, just the once. So cinnamon cider for the infill. Just going to clean off my first stamp with my it's clean it's stained chamois um, I have used it with colors that do stain the photopolymer a little bit but that's absolutely fine because it's a stain not dirt oh which reminds me I've got washing in um, don't ask why that should remind me I mean, it's quite logical why it should remind me, but I have got washing in and I really must remember to take it out. So I'm lining up. The, the idea is if you line up three areas, it should line up. Famous last words. Oh, it did. Hurrah. Sorry, that was very shrill. Um, I'm very conscious of the fact that I did have someone say, you're so shrill. Um, so I'm trying to not be, but it's just me. I can't change me. Anyway, so we have our cinnamon cider squirrel. And I don't know why I've put that away, because I need it. Uh, and I need a scrap of paper, also known as the back of a shipping order. 
because I want to stamp off and I'm actually going to use early espresso again so again don't know quite why I've put that there so I'm going to ink this up and I'm going to stamp it off now let me show you on the stamp set this is the stamp that I'm going to be using and you can just about see I'm hoping there's a little hand and that goes there it just gives you a guide as to where you're going with this rather odd shape so I'm going to stamp off because acorns aren't that red and then come in and again we need to just kind of line it up with ideally three places like that so that is that stamped don't need the acorn again I don't think no the other one doesn't have an acorn so let's clean that and then the outside of the top of the acorn I'm going to do in stamped off early espresso hello Barbara 10 a.m. in North Carolina don't you <laughs> oh thank you I, I can't I mean you know I'm over 60 um, the chances of me changing oops the chances of me changing particularly changing my voice oh sorry a thought just struck me um particularly changing my voice something between zero and nothing now so we had a phone call earlier today which was actually for my husband but i he doesn't like the phone so i end up answering the phone because apparently the phone is the invention of the devil so this is stamped off early espresso for the top of my nut it's not beautifully lined up but it's fine um shrill you're not shrill <laughs> Hello, Amy from the US. Thank you, Janice. You're not shrill. Uh, you're exuberant. Thank you. Um, anyway, so the phone rang and I answered it. And the lady on the phone said, is that is that uh, Martin? Um, to which I said, no, it's his wife. Um, so obviously I am not that shrill. But I mean, I kind of know what she means because I am exuberant. As you quite rightly say, I do get enthusiastic. Right. Um, hey there. And Misty Moonlight, because I am using Misty Moonlight on other bits. But I do like the, your exuberant. Oh, that's made my day. Obviously, it doesn't take that much to make my day. Oh, I can use a narrower piece than that. I've got lots of little scraps of card. It's when I cut bases and I keep the scraps to one side here. And um, it's quite useful because then when you need a little sentiment strip they're there oh thank you Lorna yes everyone if everyone could like that would be lovely if you like my exuberance um yeah but I did think it was ironic that the same week that I'm told by someone that I'm shrill um I'm also mistaken for my husband to be fair the lady had never spoken with him before so that helped but anyway so that is quite dark but it will dry back a bit um so I'm going to do the other stamping that I need as well because as I say then I can uh, do the die cutting all in one yes right I want basic grey for the outline of this one because I'm going to use I'm going to use grey granite as my grey for this particular little chappy so and for this, I'm using one of the stitched rectangles. So again, I just want to get my positioning so I know what I'm doing. I'm going about there. That's oh, and I'm getting ink on my on my die. That's a frightfully clever idea. Not. Right. So Greg, uh, basic grey. Um, you don't have to use black all the time as your out outline. Uh, I try not to, actually. It's almost a thing for me. Let's just get the ink off the die. You don't really want it there. So that's... That's the basic grey. Ooh, I've just thought of another colour I want to use. Getting out the colours today! Right, grey granite for our infill. And again, we've got to line up three places. And so I'm going to try and line up his feet down here. 
and the tip well actually I'm going to go for this bit here and this bit here if I line those two bits up everything else should fall in place fingers crossed oh we're 56% we like Halloween so far Right, don't need grey granite anymore. Clean my stamp. Gosh, I'm being good today doing my clean as I go. Uh, and for this one, I'm going to use Nuts About You. So that's going to go there. That's going to go there. And I'm going to do that in Merry Malo. And the reason I'm doing that in Merry Malo is because the paper that I'm using for this one has got Merry Merlot in it. It's going to stain my stamp. And that is fine. So I want that. That looks sort of straight. I'm trying to make sure everything's straight. There we go. Right, okay. And it is going to stain my stamp. Um, any of the inks that have a red in them which includes Knight of Navy, strangely, will stain your stamps. Um, but I think polished pink doesn't. There's one of them that doesn't have that red red. Sorry, I've got a slightly runny nose. It's quite chilly in my studio, although it's warm outside. I'm going to turn my back so it's polite. I was always taught you should turn your back if you're going to wipe your nose right okay so we've got our hay there we've got nuts about you we've got our squirrels and let me get my little baby out clear the decks a little and then we can put it all together it's almost like this is going to plan which is more than a little worrying don't normally have things going to plan it's going to throw me right so scissors so who has ordered the Santa tags kit other than me I should say uh, because there's a new kit that's just been released as of yesterday um, for enormous great big tags um, it's the center it's the love Santa kit and the tags look large enough that you could actually use them as a feature on the front of a card um, I mean obviously you're going to want to do some tags as well but if you don't need as many tags just chop the taggy bit off and you can put them on the front of the card anyway so my order has just shipped woohoo um, I just was checking something, mostly to see whether I'd ordered some more of that rose gold and gold foil, because um, I'm almost out of the rose gold. And my order has shipped. Woohoo! So, very excited about that. Can't wait for that to arrive. Um, so, I'm just trimming this down because otherwise it won't go through my mini. But yes, I'm looking forward to that. So am I the only person that has ordered the, t the Santa Love Santa Tag Kit? And am I the only person that has ordered the Love Santa Tag Kit and matching gift bags? I actually ordered extra gift bags um, because there's 12, three each of four designs. And I thought they'd be good to go with other Christmas things. And not all of them are specifically Christmas. Just saying. So that is that one ready to go, which I'll pop over there. So I know that's going with that. Get rid of this. And then I will put my first card together. <sighs> right. OK, so lots of bits. This is going to this is our longer card to put together. You're being very quiet today. You haven't told me whether you're whether anyone else has ordered the Santa kit. Even if you haven't, it would be kind of useful to know, really. 
Um, so I'm going to pop a piece of tear and tape down the edge of my rose gold. You've seen me do this before if you've watched me reasonably often um, because I like this. Not yet. Thank you, Lorna. You're there. How are you feeling? Are you feeling any better? Because you were a bit not. I'm hoping you are feeling a bit better. Right, so my trimmer. Uh, and what I'm going to do... Right, so tear and tape is a quarter of an inch wide-ish. Yeah, yeah, quarter of an inch-ish, slightly over. I think it claims to be a quarter of an inch wide. I just want two very narrow strips, so... By putting the tear and tape down slightly in from the edge, I can cut, at, I'm going to cut at three sixteenths, also known as half a centimetre, for those of you who like the metric of these things. So I'm just going to make sure that he's definitely lined up. I think I've got a slightly offset piece of card here. It's fine. It's not a problem. Um, and there. Oh good, it's arrived. Marvellous. That was, that was my first inspiration for the cards we did on Tuesday. Um, that was more of a lift. So I sent Lorna a get well card because she's not been terribly well. So that's what one does. One sends someone a get well card. Right, okay, so this I'm going to be chopping. Let me, did I? Yes, I did. Uh, bone folder. Okay, everything's now going to go wrong, of course. Uh, so this is going to go on the inside. This is going on the outside. What I'm going to be doing, this is for my benefit as much as anyone's, um, this is going. This is the card that I'm going to be using. Which I'm going to offset. I'm going to have a bit of the gold either side, and then this I want to be not full width, but is going to be quite a bit sticking out. So this piece is just a random piece, which I'm going to chop, because then I don't need it to be as long as I actually need it to be. This is going back to my scrapbooking days. Uh, which is when I used to do things like that. So the first thing I want to do is stick this down. So let's get some seal. And I'm going to be reasonably generous with this. Only because, well, I don't know why actually, but I am going to be reasonably generous with it. Which way up am I going to have it? I'm going to be chopping some of it off. I think I'm going to go that way. Right, so I want to be able to pop this down. Not yet, actually. I want to pop it down there. Because I've just remembered I'm going to put these down. Oops. So that I'm going to stick to my grid paper. <sighs> See, it was all going too well. And I've got all distracted now. Right, so this I am going to have mm, yeah, kind of, I don't want it in the middle. I'm going to come down a bit. Right, so let me just remove that for the moment. So I'm going to pop that. This one I am going to line up to the edge. Like that. And straight would be really good. There we go. And this piece I'm going to have slightly um, in from the end, or the edge, I should say. And it's such a random pattern that it doesn't matter whether you've got it one way up or the other. It really isn't important. Right, so this I'm going to have coming in just a bit, not a huge amount, but we do want it to be straight. So let me just get a straight edge. Yep. 
That's straightish. Okay, now I can pop this down over the top. And again, I want that lined up square. And I'm gonna have it there, I think. It'd be really good if one of the edges was square. I'm gonna just turn it around, the top edge isn't square. So apologies, oh, like I said, it was bound to go wrong eventually. I'm gonna go even more across. Actually, no, I'm gonna go even more across as I'm looking at it. Right, so that goes from there to there. Right, so sticky scissors, as in the ones that I use with glue. And just trim that off. I find it much easier than uh, to have a, a piece of paper slightly too large and then trim it off rather than trying to line up something and get it cut exactly the right length. Then these bits are going to go down the side. So I think I've done this already but just in case, bone folder. And pull up the tape and actually I'm going to go slightly off on both edges like that chop and chop and then this one We're still on 56% of you like Halloween. So presumably 56% of you like Halloween. The reason I ask is that suddenly there are Halloween things in the shops in um, our local town where they haven't been for the last few weeks. Lots and lots of pumpkins. I saw a really stunning... Right, so let's rewind. Uh, I'm a member of a local flower club um, and it was our meeting on Tuesday. Tuesday. Um, and one of the ladies had brought um, something that she'd made that was on the theme of harvest and it was it was a flower arrangement in a pumpkin it was about that size and she chopped the top off dug out the flesh in the middle and it was the top was sort of attached still and the flowers were around it it was just stunning I mean just amazing um, and it did do very well got some very good comments right so that is our basic card um, and as you can see I've stretched that out this I'm going to stick down with my good old Tombow because I like Tombow. Now I do store my Tombow upside down so that the, this pointy end is down. Um, I've got a little um, stand for them. But you can use, oh, the inside of a ribbon um, reel. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So that's going on there. Turn it over, give it a good press. So let me find a ribbon reel. So what I mean is you can use that, just the right size. Um, if you've got a slightly wider ribbon, even better. Uh, so something like the smoky slate ribbon that's in the annual catalog, the inch wide is perfect, or the um, petal pink, that would be perfect because it's that, got that little bit of extra depth. Right, so this I'm going to pop on here and I'm going to stick this flat to my gold. And again, I'm going to use liquid adhesive and I'm going to make my life easy for myself and do a design decision 
which is to deliberately offset it. And by doing that, it makes it so much easier to get it in the right place. Oh, we've got some 50% now. So that is a design choice. Um, and then it kind of works. And then this is going to go there, Ooh, there. So I'm going to move this across a wee bit. Actually, no, I'm going to pop that up there. No, I'm going to pop it there. Don't you love a bit of indecision? Um, and then I'm going to stick everything together with dimensionals. Now, I could add some more rows under this, but I think that would be a bit too much. You are surely immersed in enjoying village life. Oh, Jan Janice, it is so much different. Thank you, Katharina. Now, Katharina, are you a hard, are you a Katarina or a Katharina? So is it a hard T or a th? Because I know that sometimes the TH is pronounced as a T. But yes, we should have moved here years ago. It's just, oh, love it. Um, I think partly because, well, we have thrown ourselves into village life. Um, if we hadn't, it would be quite lonely. It says TH. Okay, that's super. It's a th. I like to try and get these things right. Don't always succeed, but I do try. So, we'll pop Matey there. And hay there is only going to need one dimensional under the hay. And see, I've put it away. If I don't put things away, I know where they are. I don't. I so don't. So this is then going to go there. Hey there! Right, inside, for once, I'm actually going to do the inside of a card. It's a bit worrying. Um, I'm going to take a very, very, very thin line of Tombow and I'm going to put it most of the way down. Actually, no, I'm going to put it all of the way down and then just hope that I don't get too sticky because what I then want to do is pick that up, pop down my liner which is slightly smaller than the early espresso and but I want it straight so that I can let that fall so that it is then also straight like that and then there's just the teeniest weeniest little bit over the edge And then this I can attach to my early espresso and then put my whole piece into the inside of my card. Never let a cat into your card room, uh, your craft room, otherwise you get cat hair everywhere. And my boy, bless him, was in here yesterday. I need to get that glue off, which I will do in a moment. Um, and he kind of went everywhere. I was busy doing stuff on the computer and he got everywhere. Um, adhesive eraser, which unfortunately we don't sell anymore. And then this, I'm going to pop on the inside of my card and that will be my first card done. So there we are, first card, and we've got an inside as well. So if you like that, you know what to do. Right, the second one is relatively quick by comparison. So we've got our stamping done. And 
this one I've got Cajun Craze it wasn't a favorite of mine for a long time I think it was because it was used in the wrong on the wrong paper um, wrong paper from my perspective but I kind of like it now I can make to go that way up and then nuts about you is going to go there and I think I want a bit of ribbon we've got grey granite ribbon so let's pull some grey granite ribbon which is my is that great? No, that's bumblebee. So, no. It's... Ooh. I've got a... I've got a long piece. But it's a piece. And I also have a short piece. Which I can probably use for a tie. Right. Grey granite isn't actually in the paper, I'm just saying. But because I've used grey granite for my squirrel, I'm going to bring it in. Um, for my eye, and I know I'm a bit weird sometimes, this is almost like stamped off early espresso because it's got the warmth. Um, thank you, Amy. So, as I say, this is going to be a reasonably quick card to put together. So the first thing I'm going to do is attach my designer series paper to my Cajun craze so I went I went to my paper rack um, knowing I was going to use this paper I went to my paper rack to dig it out I seem to have rather a lot um, I think I might be doing quite a lot of autumnal projects in the coming weeks just saying uh, fortunately I have quite a few autumn birthdays to address uh, so that's fine because yeah I have two whole packs and um, what I really need to do is to do a Kylie Batucci and do some love it chop it um, because <laughs> it's just, yeah mm. so there we go uh, right so that's going to go across there just to lift it a bit because this is actually going to be quite a plain card um, we're, we're relying mostly on the paper as in the pattern paper um, just in case I was thinking of any other sort of paper I have no idea where my brain's going right I love seal plus for attaching ribbon to my cards I am not one of those people that actually puts a whole piece of ribbon round a card and then ties it in a knot Life is too short. Just saying. Um, it's so much easier to just take your ribbon and wrap it round. Because then you're going to A, get it straight, and B, it's easier to not. Right, so more seal plus over that, because that then seals, pardon the pun, the ribbon onto the there it is onto the card both bits of card i will keep the autumn cards coming amy i love autumn um i particularly like an autumn when it's a really crisp autumn and we get you know a bit of sunshine and not too wet I'm not a great fan of the wet but I will keep the autumn coming. And again, turn it over to give it a press. I think I must have glue on my grid paper because there's glue attaching itself to everything. Uh, I'm going to leave that until I've finished with this. Ooh. That or that? Mm, that. Right, sorry, I was just deciding what was going to get popped up. And the answer is the squirrel. So this is going to be flat. Over the top. Let me go a bit 
closer actually. Um, I a design choice. I don't want the card to look like I didn't get this gap and this gap the same, as in I don't want it to look as if that was my intention, that they were to be the same. So if you want them to not be the same, they need to not be the same. So this is a lot narrower than this. Um, I hope that makes sense. As I say, it's a design choice. If you want them to be the same distance apart, they need to be the same distance apart. If you're me, anyway, uh, I have a, it's a bit of a kind of, I don't have OCD, but it's just one of those things that it's just got to be right. It's either got to be right or it's got to be wrong, if you see what I mean. Okay, nuts about you. So again, I could come right down into, and I think I will, come right down into that corner because again, that is a design choice rather than not getting it exactly in the centre. Very much easier. It's like I, with the circles. If you make the desi design choice to offset, it's going to look right. Whereas if you don't get it quite right, and you wanted it in the center, it will look very wrong. Please tell me that made sense and it wasn't me just blethering. Because it felt a bit like I was just blethering. And then just a half knot on that small piece of ribbon. And then I can trim my ends. Like that. Makes a lot of sense. Good. Glad it wasn't me just being weird for a change. Right. Now, I've taken one of the bits. This is a piece of paper that comes with lots of that. Let me grab it. So this is the pattern on the paper, which is quite busy, but it's quite nice to cut strips. Um, which is what I've obviously done, because what I'm going to do is pop that to the bottom of my card. I just happened to have this piece that was about the right width, which is why I decided I'd do it. So, it's almost the right length, so I'm going to be putting adhesive right to the edge of one, one end and almost to the end of the other end which would be so much easier if it would like to run thank you very much right so this is the end that's going to go off the edge and again grid paper it's such amazing stuff grid paper i am loving it i am going to go all the way i don't know why i'm bothering lining it up because i <laughs> i already knew i was going to go all the way to the bottom so it doesn't matter don't need the grid paper but if you were putting a strip that was not going all the way to the bottom you would want your grid paper to make sure that it lined up properly that's not quite cut right let me just get that last little bit off there we go So, get rid of the glue, get rid of two pairs of scissors and a bone folder, and we have our two finished cards. Using the wonderful beauty of the earth, I've remembered, um, designer series paper with nuts about squirrels. So, I'm going to ask the inevitable question. Are we going misty moonlight? or Cajun craze. It would be nice to know. And we're now at 55% say yes to Halloween. And by definition, 45 say no. So yes, let me know which you prefer. I will just tidy up my stamps 
whilst you're doing that because it gives me something to do whilst you're I know there's a delay um, and it's quite a long delay today need the paper Lorna well it's in the annual catalogue so it's really gorgeous paper it's actually got a paper that is perfect for winter cards Cajun craze from Steffi hello Steffi I didn't know you were here hello um, so if you if you've got winter birthdays as well as autumn birthdays whoops you can get flying Katharina loves both Janice loves both sorry to be indecisive you're allowed to be indecisive as the saying goes, I used to be indecisive, but now I'm not so sure. Um, right, where is the paper that I'm looking for? It's that one. Wint winter birthdays or Christmas. Just saying. Don't think of this as just for autumn. Um, because it's not. Misty Moonlight. Love autumn sounds and colours, but not Halloween. That's very fair, Nora. Leela likes Misty Moonlight. Sherry likes them both. Thank you, Leda. Leda? Leda? I'm late. You're never late, Steffi. You're just, yes, you can do catch up. Hard choice. I'm also in the like both group. That's perfectly fine, Amy. It's perfectly fine. Um, I think I like them both. But yes, so if you if you want a pack of paper that does the second one, so that was the Cajun craze. If you want a pack of paper that does basically all of the, you know, winter, autumn, this is the one. Uh, because it's got that beautiful, I mean, it's just snowy pine. It's just amazing. So it does give you that option as well. Right. So thank you very much indeed for joining today. Let me just flip the camera up so that I can say goodbye properly, as my mother would have said. Bless her. Yes, my mother always used to say, you've got to say goodbye properly. And it was you know, things like, thank you for having me. Um, and yes, goodbye. So my brain's gone now. That's fine. Anyway, thank you very much indeed. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the session and you like the cards. Um, do remember to subscribe. Um, I'm so pleased you enjoyed yourself, Amy. Um, so yes, do remember to subscribe if you don't already. Then you'll know when I'm going live. I go live. Thank you, Katharina. I go live at 10 o'clock on a Tuesday morning and three o'clock on a Thursday afternoon UK time. And I know the times are going to go bizarre for the next couple of months because Australia has already changed its clocks. We don't change our clocks until the very end of this month. And I think the US changes before us, but I don't know. We always do the last Sunday of October and the last Sunday of March I think it's always the last Sunday of October because it was either just before or just after my mother's birthday which was on the 31st um you're very very welcome Lida hello Pam Pam likes autumn rather than Halloween yeah I get that I can understand that I think I do as well I like a little bit of Halloween but not too much anyway thank you very much indeed I will let you go not that I'm forcing you to stay, you understand. Um, I will be photographing the cards and hopefully getting it onto my blog this afternoon. Um, so it'll all be there ready to go this afternoon. Otherwise, it'll be first thing tomorrow morning. Um, and either tomorrow or Saturday, I will be announcing a new class in a box, which is basically going to be a stamper stack for, I'm calling it my Christmas Blitz. So it's making lots of Christmas cards, tags, packaging, all that good stuff um, all around one stamp set, but lots of different papers. So and it will come in in separate boxes. There'll be a number of boxes anyway. 
thank you very much indeed. I will pop up my finish screen and I will see you again very soon, I hope.